everybody. I am here today with my good friend Rob Wakely, and we've been friends since the late 90s, right? Yeah, that's right. And it's so exciting to uh, be together because he has retired and is now out here as a full-time nomad and is in Quartzsite. <laughs> It's pretty exciting. <laughs> it is. I'm so thrilled for you. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm excited. Yeah. And so he is actually, even though he's only been on the road two months, he is a world, wealth and a world of knowledge because Rob did his homework and everything and has just, I'm so proud of you and all that you put together and you planned for this for a long time. And you know, for all practical purposes, you have done everything right. And I'm just tickled to death for you. Well, it's mostly because I would ask you questions <laughs> for my planning. <laughs> you asked a lot of people. I share, you, you... But I asked you a lot. I shared my budget with you and yes. you pointed out my mistakes. So. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that yeah, might not work. And then, and also because we, it is a small community, uh, if there was something I didn't know, I was able to put you in touch with a yes. lot of people that I hope were helpful. Yeah. And uh, so, so that's wonderful. But today we're here to talk to him about Starlink. Most mm -hmm. everybody has heard about Starlink and people are waiting on it to roll out for nomads, but you as a nomad have it. I do. That's I a, do. It's amazing. <laughs> and, 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 the, and, and we're gonna tease them right now. Just tell them the speeds you're getting. Well, I would say the average is 90 down and maybe 15 or 20 up but I've seen it as high as 300. That is insane. Oh my God, it is so, that is so great. Okay, so tell us, let's back up. Okay. And when you applied for Starlinks, kind of walk us through that. So like everybody else, I applied, not everybody else, but many people, I applied for the beta back in April of last year. And they said, when I was living in Virginia, we expect maybe to ship to you in November of this year. So of course, November came around and that's when I was retiring and leaving. Yeah. So I changed my um, address to Pahrump, Nevada, which you which graciously is where you established residency. You helped you and Robert with them helped me decide to establish residency yes. there. So they said, Well, now we can service you in January of twenty twenty two, which is when I was gonna leave Pahrump and be down to come here. to <laughs> So I, I changed my, I, I let them do the shipping. They notified me, you're ready, you can activate, we're shipping it to Pahrump. And then I did some research and I did a tricky thing. I called them, I said, can you ship it to Quartzsite? They said, sure. Huh. And then I, you know, I discovered the Starlink secret. The secret. And we're going to share that with you on how he's able to get Starlink on the road. But what is the general parameters around having Starlink? The general parameters are that um, you need to get your service at the location that you ordered your service at. They have what they call cells of service and you can't move outside that cell of service and expect to get the service. Which is the problem all nomads are looking at with Starlink because we're nomads. We don't stay in a cell of service. And, and they're looking to expand that over time. They, they right. That's the goal. Um, I'm going to jump ahead and we'll okay. come back. There are three types of service or definitions through Starlink. Right. The, the traditional service that they're rolling out now is it's meant to service the people that are in rural areas that don't have ability to get high, you know, broadband access. Yes. Right. And it's meant to stay in one place. Now they're talking about mobile service and they haven't rolled that out yet. And a lot of our viewers think, well, that's what I'm waiting for. That's but, what I thought. Yeah, but the reality is that the existing service is not mobile, but it's movable service. Movable. So there's three kinds. What I would call sticks and bricks, and they have their definition for who they sell that to. Mobile and Mo movable. Movable. movable and so you were able to find and there goes an ATV <laughs> yeah of course yeah of course you were able to find a loophole more or less it's 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 legal Starlink endorses Absolutely. it it's yeah. it's not any we're not purporting that you do something that's not right here but they but they also are controlling everything you were sharing that you know presumably 
they don't want bad press if you if you can't get service and we'll right, talk about right. that in a moment or if your service is out so far that you're not getting good service uh, they're really trying to control it right now in these rollouts so that they can provide quality service right so it's designed so if you move you can pull up their app and there's a map and you can click on your your gps location of quote your new home and if there's an available cell there's availability in an active cell they'll change your location and you're good to go yeah so you they are thinking move as in you know you get movers load up your sticks and bricks your business whatever you plot somewhere else and you're going to be there but that is how when you move you can get starlink service Right. But it's not as easy as it no, sounds. No, it's not. Because, <laughs> remember, you have to be in a cell that has service, and not all areas have service available. And it needs Starlink to be service. Starlink service. And it needs to be a cell where there's available availability. For example, there's I'm, we're on LTVA land yes. in Quartzsite, and where we are is there's we're not in a service cell. But two and a half miles away, in Quartzsite, there is a cell, yeah. but it's full. Okay, so All right. strike one, strike, strike two. two. But then I clicked around on the map and I did research and I found out at the edge of Quartzsite in Ehrenberg, there's a cell that is open and available. So I clicked on that and they reestablished my service and it was six miles away from where it was. So what does that mean? I didn't really know. Yeah, so you're I, like, I hope this will I work. I hope this will work. You know, and the other caveat is, you know, if I really lived in Pahrump and I moved in here and Pahrump filled up, I can't go back home. Yeah. So it's a one and done when you click. So I fired it up and it, it, it at first it didn't look like it was going to work. I was getting these errors and offline. You're away from your location. You only should expect good service at your location. But then it started working. Woo! It, it drops a lot. Okay. Not, okay. You know, so it could be it's fast speed, but it with the drops it could be a little sketchy for streaming. Yeah. But or it, for uploading videos. If but, you're in the middle of an upload and it drops, that's not good. Well, it, the drops are usually just a couple of seconds. Of okay. These. Okay. It, it, it's small, so it only really matters for like streaming and Zoom calls. And, okay. But it's it's doable. But it's great speed when you're camping with a bunch of people who in Quartzsite who can't get anything and you've got 100 megabytes down, I became a very popular guy in my and, campsite. And I want his integrity intact, so I'm going to share that he contacted Starlink. I did. And he asked, can I share my password with people I'm camped with? And they told him yes. Up they said yes, you, you're welcome to and you can have up to 100 devices connected. So I'm like, okay. Okay. So I gave it up. I'm camping with a pretty large group of people. And I'd come I, join you if I, I could. No, I, I've just... seen up to 26 <laughs> devices connected and it's still fast and like I said I'm a it made me a very popular guy. Yeah I bet I bet as if you you weren't already but yeah I get you and you have found that some businesses fast food very you know they may have Starlink they may already be signed up through the regular route uh, and and if you know how when you go say McDonald's and I'm not saying McDonald's but I'm using that as an example you go to McDonald's and you want to click on their Wi-Fi well check now to see if they have uh, and again I'm not saying McDonald's I'm, I'm yeah check and see if they have Starlink because if they do click on that and you get these kind of speeds yeah and it, you know sometimes they might be password protected but my experience was recently i was at a place i couldn't get any signal and just for fun i went on wi-fi and i saw starlink and it was unprotected no password i clicked on it and i'm boom yeah and they Huge they speed. shared that they had just recently uh, upgraded to starlink now just so people might not have gotten it because it's confusing for me if you when you leave here not if because you're not going to spend the rest of your life in court site right but but if you leave here and you go to a new place walk us through one more time what you're going to have to do to hopefully find starlink again okay. now i can do this ahead of time let's say i'm tomorrow's my travel day and mm -hmm. tonight i'm done with all my internet stuff and i go look if i know where i'm going to be staying i can put those gps coordinates into the starlink map and if there's service, I can change my location and it's done ahead of time. When I arrive there, I'm gonna be, I'll be connected when I set up. Okay, but you were sharing 
and I don't, I don't, I don't get this, but I want my viewers to know. You were sharing that it wasn't an easy process here because you had to, you had to right, do some because searching. I, I put in the GPS coordinates exactly where I was camping, and they said, "Sorry, we don't offer service here." So I had to go move outside on the map until I found one that said I could get in. And that took, it was a couple hours of okay. clicking. It was not easy. And you had to transfer some coordinates to another map and, and... Yeah, I was looking on Google Maps and I would copy it off that and paste it into the, the Starlink app. It's okay. not hard. Yeah, it's, it's just time consuming, time and, consuming. And, and tedious. And, and so they're, they're, you know, it's not seamless. It's, it's, you have to, you have to jump some some through some hoops and, and jump some barriers but it's doable and I'm so excited about that and in a moment if you're willing I want to talk a little bit about price but the priciest of Starlink is the actual mobile connectivity which we're talking about movable but there is mobile connectivity can you tell them what you know well, about that all I know about that and I have no personal experience with this so this is what I've read <laughs> is that they're going to introduce mobile Starlink, which means it'll be a device that'll give you internet while you're in motion yeah. for like airplanes and ships and trucks and so you can have 24 7 connectivity while you're moving and, in a, and in it could vehicle. even be rv or whatever and I'm but it's very pricey i'm assuming it's very pricey i, I would I, assume I, so i mo that is a wild guess but i'm i'm gonna guess it's gonna be more than the standard Starlink. and for me and you we don't particularly care to, that we have internet while we're moving on travel days well it's, see i got it i don't know about that i know you said that but i gotta yeah. tell you because when i travel sometimes i don't know where i'm gonna stop i'm i'm moving and, and that's something i'm going to be sharing with some changes i'm going to be sharing with my viewers coming up but but i'm moving and i may pull over at a truck stop for the night i may decide to diverge over here and go check this out mm -hmm. and if i could afford it I would pay for the mobile con connectivity. That makes complete I, sense. But, you know, but so yours it, is yours is certainly doable, viable, and great speed in a, right. in a workaround. But I see what you're saying. It would take um, all the work out of it, yeah. and you're connected all the time, and you just don't need to worry about it. It's one less thing to worry about on the road, right? Exactly. That'd be great. Exactly. And I hope that this wind is not inter interfering with the mic. We've got the the mic set back by a rig and, and I hope that it's blocking enough that you guys can hear us because this is important stuff. So we've got standard Starlink, we've got mobile connectivity 24 seven, and we've got the movable connectivity, which is what you have. Right, that's the same as the standard. It's kind of the standard, standard but you, you found a way to make it movable. Right, I call it movable. Yes. That's my word, Your not word. Starlink. And, and I love that because it, it helped me understand the difference so it's you made the standard Starlink movable. You right. have found a way to do that. Right. And do you mind sharing some of the costs? I'm not asking you to share your finances, but in general. I mean, it's just over five hundred dollars um, for the equipment and ninety nine dollars a month, right? Now. Okay, five hundred for the equipment and ninety nine dollars a month yes. for what for what you have. Yes. But but like you were saying, if you can continue to do this. You can get rid of all of your jet packs and all of the different carriers and everything. My, my, you mean my two hundred and forty dollars a month worth, <laughs> worth of hotspots? Yeah, plans? down to yeah, nine, down to ninety nine. Nice. And mine, you guys, is about the same. You've got four different carriers right yes, now because yes. he he is uh, a, a is is um, uh, t tell him generally what you do. I'm trying not to give away well, your I'm, personal information. No, that's okay. I'm a, I'm retired, but I'm a licensed therapist, so I supplement my retirement income with a few hours of counseling a week. And yeah. I need that, I need a very strong internet connection. And reliable. Reliable, and it needs to be strong and reliable. So so, I, so for all practical purposes, you're a digital nomad that has to have connectivity. And so it's worth it to you to have the four different carriers. Yes. And I have two different carriers just to be able to stay connected to you guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of all of the data that I pay for be, to keep from being throttled back, and I am paying about that also. So it would actually be cheaper, but the upfront cost is, is quite a bit more. Right, it is. So it is. anyway, I, I'm just thrilled. I When he sent me that uh, screen, I almost wanted, I was torn between doing a happy dance for him and wanting to go find him and punch him. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you a speed test. Yes. I texted you a speed test. Yes. And I was like, what the heck? I, I'm 
I'm in the desert in Quartzsite. This <laughs> is what I'm getting. How about you? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And so I was really excited that he was willing to share his information with you guys. And thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on your channel. I've yeah. been a devoted watcher and patron. And I always wanted to be a guest star. <laughs> well, that, there, there you go. You just say it. I, so maybe we can do a tour of your your. Oh, my, I would love he's that. Got, he's I got a really that. nice new trailer, so we'll, we'll do that coming up. But if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, and Rob, with his fast internet speed, will be able to, to answer them for you if possible. And we're glad that you're on, your, on this journey with us, and we look forward to seeing you down the road, everybody. Keep on keeping on. See you down the road. That's the right thing to say, right? That's it. That's what we say. That's it.